Hi children, welcome to Thursday's Phonics and today we're going to be doing our phase 5 sounds we've learned so far to recap our learning. Now we've got a little challenge today, what I'd like you to do is to ask a grown up from your house or your brother or your sister if they can video you shouting out all of the phase 5 sounds that I'm going to show you now. Because I think you're ready for a little bit of a challenge. I've been really impressed with all the photographs you've been sending in of you calling out the sounds with me, but I want to see now if you can do them on your own, okay? So I'm going to stay really quiet, quiet as a mouse, and I'm going to click the keyboard through the sounds and I'd like to hear you saying them. They are a bit tricky, so I'll go a little bit slower to give you plenty of time to say them. If you don't know one, that's okay. Just stay quiet and wait for the next one, which hopefully you might remember. And I can't wait to see these videos. Gives me something to look forward to as well. Okay, so get comfortable, get ready, big loud voices, shouting them out. Off we go with the first sound. Well done year one, I reckon I'm going to have lots of super videos, okay? We're going to start there because that takes us up to where we've learned so far. So I'm going to come off that screen now and you can ask your grown up to pause their video and get sending it in to me, okay? And we're going to move on to our new learning. So you need your whiteboard and your whiteboard pen now please. So if you haven't got it, Go and get it quickly and come back to me, okay? So let's look at our sound of the day today. We've got our sound star and we're going to move the letter E, which makes the S sound. And we're going to look at the letter Y, which makes the Y sound. And when we put them together, what sound do you think it might make? Well done if you said E. Now we see this sound at the end of a lot of words. So it's really important that we try to remember when we see an F and a Y together, it makes the E sound. Now we already know some of the spellings of the E sound. I'm going to just write them on the board. An F and an F we know make E. And we've also learnt that an F and an A make E. So we've got three different spellings there, year one. Of, of the E sound. But today we're looking at this spelling in our star. So well done. An E and a Y make E. Moving on to our activity. Now we've got something a little bit different. We haven't done this before. So you're going to need your whiteboard and your whiteboard pen or if you've got some paper at home you can use that instead. And we've got to do a little bit of reading. We've got four little sentences to read together. And in each sentence, we've got an E word with the E, Y spelling, because we're doing E and a Y make E today. And we've got four pictures. So you need to pause the video in a moment and you need to draw the pictures and write the sentences on your whiteboard, just as you can see them on here. OK, so have a real good look. We've got a picture of a key, a picture of an alley, a picture of a donkey, a picture of a chimney and we've got four sentences. So you need to write those four sentences down and draw those four pictures as best as you can and then once you've done it you can press play on this video and we're going to have a look at matching them. Okay? Brilliant. So by now you should have this on a whiteboard or a piece of paper at home. Now we're going to do one together, so we've got to do some reading and then we've got to find the matching picture. So read and match, read and match all of the four sentences. Are you ready? Super. 
So I'm going to look at the first sentence at the top of the board. And we've got a tricky word at the beginning. What tricky word can we see? The ch e m n ch e m e. The chimney is on the r u f roof. The chimney is on the roof. Well done if you read that sentence. So on your whiteboard or on your piece of paper, you need to now draw a line from the sentence all the way to the picture of the chimney. And I would like you now to have a go at the next three sentences all by yourself. So read them, look at the picture, match them up, and then as a little challenge, you could have a go at writing a, a sentence of your own with the E sound in it and drawing a picture. Okay, so that's your practice for today, reading and matching pictures. Now moving on to our reply, once you've done that, we're going to think about writing a super sentence. On the line, with a capital letter, with a finger space and with a full stop. And I would like you today to try and think of a sentence with the E sound in it, with the spelling E, -E and I've put four words there or you can use your own. And I'd like you to think of another word within your sentence with one of our other phase five sounds. So that's going to be tricky. And I'm going to model one today because I'm seeing lots of super learning at home, but sometimes we're forgetting our finger spaces, sometimes we're forgetting our full stops, and sometimes we are forgetting how to form those letters correctly. So I'm just going to do a quick example to remind you and give you a little bit of help and hopefully I'll see some really good sentence work today. So I'm going to use the word d -a -n -k -e, donkey. The spelling and the sound of the day, okay? So, my sentence. Now I'm going to start with I, and my sentence is going to be I went on a donkey at the beach. Full stop. And I've got the E sound in beach, and it's the other spelling. Very tricky. So have a look now at how I write my sentence. What do I need to use at the beginning? A capital letter. I. My I sits on the line. Finger space. I went what? E. N. Went. Look at my t. Look how tall it is. It's taller than my other letters. I went. I went. A. N. I went on. A. Keyword of the day with the e sound. Donkey. D. A. N. E. Donkey. Look how I've used my spelling of the E sound. Thinking carefully about the spelling we're doing today. I went on a donkey at finger space the tricky word. I went on a donkey at the beach. B, B, E, Ch, Beach. Oh, I'm going to stop there because I can hear the E sound. Now I know the E sound is not at the end, so I don't. I, I know it's not going to be at an ear, but I know because I remember from my other phonics the other week that we can spell the E sound with an E and an A, and I've seen that word lots of times in my reading books at home. B each beach. And I know that is right because it looks right. Okay, so that's why it's important to do lots of reading too. Read the sentence again. I went on a donkey at the beach. And that's a really good example today because I've got a sentence with two different spellings of the same sound, which is what phase five is all about. So the more we read, the more we write, 
the more we're going to remember which spelling it is for which sound, okay? So off you go today, writing me a sentence. You can write two, three, four, however many you want using the E sound with the E and the Y spelling, okay? I look forward to seeing your videos of your sounds at the beginning and also lots of pictures of your sentences and of your matching pictures. Okay, see you tomorrow.